Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Revit and Dynamo. Uh, I'm going to show you a quick definition that I've made with Dynamo that will uh, allow you to automatically number uh, rooms. Um, so the basic premise is that you will have a you know a floor plan with a bunch of rooms in there, and then the idea is to number them as you can see sequentially. Uh, left to right and then kind of go in rows left to right, left to right as you come down um, so I'm just going to quickly walk through some of the functionality that uh, this definition has and then demonstrate at the same time uh, some of the key functionalities uh, so first things first you want to collect, uh, I want to do this by level just because uh, if you uh, if you say that uh, this is your ground level, I want my numbering to be in hundreds. But if I if you know if you imagine this to be a second level, I want my numbering to be in two hundreds. So if I change that number, it will renumber them starting from two hundred. So there, it's, this is one of the functionalities. Um, so let's just get back to the beginning of the definition. So all right, so we pick out all the rooms by level. This is one of nodes that I posted to the uh, load pack, uh, package manager. Uh, after that, I'm using a Python node to quickly filter out a unplaced rooms. Uh, Revit tends to store all the rooms in a in a project, so you can either delete them or you can just filter them out and so that not not use if they're not placed. Uh, so this node will get rid of all the redundant rooms and unplaced rooms. And then, so once we have just the rooms that we need, um, getting their, I'm getting the room location lines. So the room location, uh, you can see it's that, uh, where that cross, uh, when those two lines cross each other, and they have a little pointer uh, listed. So what that comes, when this becomes important is, for example, here. If I was to move this cross up a little bit, and rerun this definition, you will see that all of a sudden it falls within you know the sequence of 15, 16, 17 versus previously if it was down below it will be a 220, so 1920, 21. The reason why that is happening is because uh, the way I'm sorting those rooms and creating the order in which to number them is first by their Y axis location. So this is what I'm doing over here, those two nodes. Uh, so based on the y-axis I'm creating uh, kind of rows, if you imagine I overlaid a grid over this whole thing. So then I'm creating all those rows of y and then I'm within those rows I'll take those rooms and then order them sequentially from left to right. But what this illustrated the example that I was doing by moving this uh, room location up and down, it makes it fall within this row uh, with you know rooms 214 and 15 and then when you run it based on its Y location it will get numbered in that sequence with those rooms. So this is just something you can you know just keep an eye out on that when you're working with this. Um, also there is this number here which controls the number of rows. So if you imagine I'm overlaying a grid when this number says 6, that means it, it takes this floor plan and looks for the room, uh, looks for the uh, the smallest Y uh, from one of the room locations and the highest Y and then takes that range and divides it equally into 6 sections and that's how, you know, and then it checks what rooms fall into what section and then that's how I get my rows. So. I have it set up at 6, but it could be, you know, 10, and then all of a sudden there will be a finer grain of uh, room numbers, and then let's test this out, I haven't actually run this, but you can see right away what's happening is that, you know, we got 14, 15, 16, 17, just because there is an extra section there, extra range that room can fall within, it's only just that room, so it does 17, then 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So, in this case, it's actually better to have kind of lesser 
less of these rows. Uh, but this is this is just a finer grade of control. So once we have that, um, uh, the last part of the definition is the uh, sequence creating uh, node. So what that what that gives me is it takes the number of rooms that I have overall and it creates a sequence of numbers. And this is a start number that we can define. So that's what I was saying originally. Uh, if you know, if for every floor you wanted to have within 100, 200, 300, you define it here. So this will be, this will control the numbering. And then, if you were to start at zero, so let's say you're in a basement of the building, uh, you can see that the first number will be zero zero one. So what that node actually does is actually puts in leading zeros just to make sure that it's always three digit uh, room number. Um, and then you probably notice as it goes, as it jumps from one to three, is because this input here determines which number to skip. And the reason why I have it in there is because um, I like to leave a blank just in case uh, somewhere in the process we've added more rooms to the floor plan. Then it's uh, it's easy not to it's easier not to renumber everything, but just to add that number in there. Uh, so I'm just used to leaving a blank. Uh, you know, whatever number you pick, it will leave it it will leave it out of the sequence. So you can see that two is left out of the sequence, but so will be uh, twelve, eleven, thirteen. So it jumps over twelve, and then so will be twenty two. Uh, 21, 23, so it jumps over 22, so the idea is to leave out that number that you specify too, and also uh, that number plus 10, multiples of 10, uh, for the reminder of the of the sequence. Uh, and then the final final part, uh, I'm sorry the previous one wasn't final, uh, the final final part is to actually write those numbers to room numbers. Uh, so I'm using uh, custom node that I downloaded from package manager called set list instance parameters and I'm writing it to a room parameter and that's it, that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward um, obviously the way it deals with the room ordering it works okay with rectangular uh, kind of rectilinear plans if you were to do this on a circular plan, for example uh, something less, uh, less rigid, less uh, rectilinear, more you know, kind of L shape or something. Just, just be mindful that uh, it numbers them by Y location of the room, uh, by Y axis location of the room first, and then by X axis location of the room second. Uh, so, uh, just, just be mindful of that. Um, Alright, thanks for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed it, I'm going to be posting some of those nodes uh, on the package manager for everyone to download, um, also on my blog, rkeylab.net, uh, so please visit my blog, uh, go to the download section and you can see all the... Uh, all the nodes that I've been making so far for the uh, for Dino. Um, also, please follow me on Twitter at Arc Laboratory. Um, um, I'm usually posting stuff to my to my Twitter account, uh, letting people know what's new stuff that I'm working on. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for uh, following me and. Um, Stay tuned. I will have some. I will have some Dynamo, uh, maybe Grasshopper stuff coming up next. All right. Thank you.